Now, we're going to speak with uh, Mrs. Duncan, and Mrs. Duncan was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 37. And she is someone who, in fact, uh, does have dense breasts. And we want to say thanks to Mrs. Duncan for being here. Um, Mrs. Duncan, you started doing self-examination at age 35. You do not have a first degree relative with breast cancer. Why did you start exam so early? Um, after several visits um, with my gynecologist, he told me that I had dense breasts. Um, and I think over, from what I can remember, over time, you know, I will feel lumps in my breasts. Um, and, you know, after several ultrasounds, he mentioned to me that I had dense breasts. Okay, so you were feeling these lumps, you told the doctor, and he said he had you have ultrasound, and he said to you, you do have dense breasts. That is correct. Okay, how did you diagnose, in, in fact, you're the one who felt this lump. How do you know that this lump was different, the one that actually turned out to be cancer? How do you know this was different from what you were experiencing two years before when you were ex examining your breasts yourself? Um, I had a coworker um, who came in one day and said, oh, I, she felt something on her chest. And I said to her, oh, I felt something also because seeing that I know I had dense breasts, I will always examine myself, um, my breasts. And I, I'm not sure how I came about, you know, but I, for over two months, I felt like something was different on my left breast and my right breast. Um, and that's when I notify my doctor about it. And then was it on a mammogram that this was found or was it an ultrasound? How did they, when did they tell you and how did they find out that definitely it was breast cancer? Well, first I went to my primary care doctor um, who told me it was just a cyst and gave me some medication, um, told me it will go away in seven days. Um, after seven days, I immediately, um, checked again, I felt, you know, lump there. So I said, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and waited 10 days. Um, and then after the 10 days, it was still there, I went to my gynecologist who I, you know, mentioned my concern to him. Um, and he suggested I do an um, ultrasound. Um, during the conversation, he said to me, seeing that you had so many ultrasounds, you know, prior to this, um, he will send me for a mammogram a again, which I did. Um, and that's when it was discovered during the mammogram, there was something alum deer um, that needed a biopsy, in which I did the biopsy the following week. Um, and that's when I was notified that it was cancer. Okay, when you heard that word cancer, what, how did you feel? What happened to you and what did you do next? Well, the first thing that came to mind is I'm going to die. Um, and I remember I got the news while I was at work. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I have a good working relationship with my gynecologist. So he called me at work and he was like, Esther, you know, the test came back positive. It is cancer. You'll be fine. And, you know, we set up all the necessary appointments for you. Um, and I immediately started crying, but, you know, I was at work, so it was kind of hidden. Um, and I left the job terrified, you know, saying to myself, I'm going to die. Um, I'm going to leave my three young kids behind. Um, and that was all that was in my head, that I was going to die. But, well, we're happy to say you have had treatment. Yes. You, you had a lumpectomy. That is correct. And then you had radiation. Yes. And then you had chemotherapy. Well, I had the uh, chemo I mean, first, yes, and sorry. then after the chemo, I had radiation. And how do you feel now? I feel pretty good about myself. Um, feel much better. You know, I still, on a daily basis, you know, think about it, try to talk to other women, because, um, you know, as you said, I was diagnosed at 37. Um, mm -hmm no family history of it mm -hmm. and it was the last thing from my mind being diagnosed with cancer so it was an eye-opener for me um, 
And you're not a smoker, you don't smoke, nope. and you don't drink. Don't smoke, I don't drink, I try to live a healthy life. Um, and you exercise. And, and you I do exercise. So, so, so it, well, thank you so very much for coming in and answering our questions. We really appreciate it. Preventive services make these recommendations about bet women between 50 and 74. But here is someone 37 years old, and as I told you before when we were discussing this, that I know she's the fifth person under age 40. I know all happens to be black women who have breast cancer. And so I want to ask you, do you know of a connection between birth control and breast cancer? Well. You know, birth control has been associated with a small increase in the risk of developing breast cancer. It is not a dramatic increase, um, but uh, it, like all forms of estrogen, is associated with a small uh, increased risk, but not a dramatic one. Do you think that five women under the age of 40 or within the same geographic area is a high incidence? Connecticut, you know, has one of the highest incidences of, of breast cancer. And certainly we've all taken care of a lot of young women with breast cancer. Um, overall, you know, the likelihood of getting breast cancer in your 20s nationwide is on the order of about 1 in 2,000. So it's still relatively uncommon, though some weeks it certainly doesn't feel that way. Mm -hmm. It seems to come in spurts in mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of different ways.